Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, I had another affiliate briefing with Skylum Software about Luminar Neo, and I learned some new things about it. In this video, I'm going to be sharing what I learned about Luminar Neo with you. Before I begin, I think there are some things that are important for you to know. Uh, we affiliates weren't supposed to release this latest batch of information until Monday, October 18th. Some affiliates ignored the agreement they signed and released their videos over the weekend. It is important for you to know that none of us, not one affiliate, have used Luminar Neo yet, nor have we seen a working copy. So we really cannot comment on how good it is or how well it runs. In our affiliate briefings, we've only seen photographs and videos, the exact same photographs and videos that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So all I can really do is be a conduit for what they tell me and let you get that information as well. I'm going to refrain from commenting on how great it is and whether or not I recommend that you buy it. All right, let's get that right out of the way at the top and let's begin. I mentioned that they shared some videos with us. Let's start with a couple of those. Okay, that is one video. Here's another. Right, let's talk about some of the features I learned about Luminar Neo. First of all, there's something called Dust AI. You can see the little before frame in the lower right hand corner. There's some dust spots. Maybe there are even spots on the lens. And you can see above that it says erase and there's a little like switch. You just apparently just flip that switch and it will get rid of all the dust. Now there's another important thing I should mention. They did mention that when we have these images of the UI, the user interface, the user interface may not look like this when the product is actually released. They're saying late winter, I think, and that's going to be around December. And by the way, I should be getting a beta version uh, sometime in November. And as soon as I get the beta version, and as soon as they allow me to do videos, I'm not going to cheat like some people do and do the video early. I'm going to abide by the agreement I signed. And whenever they allow me to release a video showing the actual product, I will. But until then, uh, it, when you see these photographs I'm going to show you, it may not end up looking like this. All right, it's important for you to know. So Dust AI, uh, you can see in the lower right hand corner, there's some spots. And then you apparently just flip a switch and then it gets rid of all the spots. Here's another example here. And a final example here. So that's a nice feature if it works as advertised. Another thing that uh, Luminar Neo is going to have is something called Line Removal AI. Again, you look, it's just a flip of a switch, and it will get rid of all the power lines that happen to be in an image. Here's an example here. And here's another example here. So, it, you know, again, I think that's a nice feature as long as it works as advertised. Something called overlays. This is something relatively simple, actually, uh, because Luminar Neo has layers capability. Uh, you could put an overlay in there. You could see in the before image, the lower right hand side, there's a person on a fallen tree and it looks like he's taking a video. And then in the after image, there's like tree branches kind of framing him. So you could add this thing here. In this image, it's just like a cityscape, but added this window view as though it was shot out a window. Here's another one of a model. Just a blue sky behind her, but then you add this kind of foliage kind of to the side and in front of her. 
And here's another one of a model. Looks like she may be in a shopping mall. But again, you add the foliage in front of her like that. I'm not sure how that works, but I would imagine um, it's not that difficult. Uh, Mask AI, I did talk about this in a previous video. This uh, uses the AI technology to examine the image and find elements in it. And it will allow you to very easily mask out those elements by just clicking on the name of the element. For example, in this image, we have a sky, a human, and mountains. It detected those, and if you click on the sky, it will put that overlay on the sky, and then you could do adjustments just for the sky. And similarly, if you want to just adjust the person, you could click on human and just adjust that and the mountains. Apparently, it doesn't recognize penguins, but maybe it will in the future. Who knows? Here's another example. It detected sky, vegetation, mountains, and man-made structures in this one. So you could do adjustments to each of those individually. Here's one. It, it detected the sky vegetation, a road, and you can see the road is masked in this example, mountains in a vehicle. And in this example, it found sky vegetation, mountains, and man-made structures. This is a feature that I'm going to really like to use. Hopefully it works as advertised because there are many times, for example, I may want to just adjust the mountains in the distance and not adjust the snow or the cabin or anything like that. So this is something that I would look forward to using. The next uh, new feature that's in Luminar Neo is Relight AI. Uh, with it, you could relight, relight the subject and relight the area around the subject. Here's an example here. You could see that the model is being brightened up and the background is being relit slightly as well. Uh, here's an example here. Here's another example here. And here's a final example. You could see we just kind of relit the, I guess, the landscape. There is a video on this um, and I'll play it now. Now you'll see over on the right, uh, the a mount slider is moving to the right. Now I'm not doing that. This is a video. Uh, so you can see it's relighting the kind of foreground area. Now it's adjusting de-halo in case you get a halo around the subject when you do that relighting. So it'll get rid of that halo. Now the amount far, that's kind of an odd kind of name, but it looks like it's darkening the background in this example. And then the depth slider which will adjust in a moment to the right you could see it's kind of pushing the light back so you could kind of relight the whole scene with those four sliders now they're going to do a before after and it takes a second for the before to actually show there it is now so there's before there's after there's before there's after so you could see you could really relight a scene and i kind of the name is called virtual flashlight whether or not it keeps that name i I'm not sure, but that's what they're calling it there. Next, they have a portrait background removal. I believe I talked about this in a previous video as well. Um, this, we're, uh, out of the box, when you get Luminar Neo in you know, late winter, um, it will only work on humans. It will not work like on other objects or dogs or cats. But in an update, they said they will have it so it works on objects and pets and animals and things like that. So it's pretty simple uh, to explain. You can see on the far left is the original image, and then you replace the background in the next two frames. And then here's the same thing, original background, then replace background, original background, replaced background. So it's pretty standard, simple type thing. Uh, and again, you know, when you get this, um, when it's released, it will only work on people at first. But hopefully, not too long down the line, they'll update it so that it will work on pets and objects and things like that. Uh, here's another example here. And I think I hit, do we have a video on this? Yes, we do. And that's everything I've learned about Luminar Neo. Uh, now, uh, they're saying it's going to be released late winter. Uh, I'm thinking that's December. That's when Luminar AI came out, was in December. They said um, affiliates should be getting a beta version sometime in November. Again, as soon as I do get it and I'm able to do a video, I will do a video and demonstrate it for you. 
Um, also, in the description below this video, I'll have links to Skylum's website. You could pre-order it there. Um, they are my affiliate links. I will make a commission if you purchase the product using my affiliate links. I do have a promo code or discount code. I don't think it works on this pre-sale. I'll have it listed as well and you could try it, but I don't think it's gonna work. If it does work, let us know in the comments below so everyone else knows as well. But again, I just wanna make sure everyone knows, I do make a commission if you purchase it using those links. It doesn't cost any more, it just, they give me a portion of the purchase. That's it, that's everything I think you need to know about Luminar Neo. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.